His first swim at Bondi Beach. Help me! What was lurking in the water? I thought he's going to go into a seizure. Wait a he's not so fond of going near water again. It's picture perfect Bondi. There's a long history of folklore about how to treat a blue bottle sting. A lot of the old guys from the surf clubs will tell you that urine's the best thing for it. Someone cop an open hand slap if they uh, try to urinate on me. <laughs> it started out with vinegar and then it was like cold water. Rub sand into it. We used to use this uh, blue o, which was a toilet detergent which we put into mix with water. We typically go with the ice just because it's the easiest for us to hand out. So, what is the best treatment? Mel Murray from the Australian Museum studies these unwelcome visitors. There are a huge amount of old wives' tales that are out yeah. there. The preliminary research that's been done on the venom and the toxins, they believe that it's a protein-based toxin. So heat kills the protein. Right. Some sprays help neutralise the poison. But the most effective treatment is to immerse the sting in hot water. So that stops the venom from being injected and it also stops it from travelling around further. Late morning and the beach is still under siege. Nine-year-old Zach has suffered a blue bottle sting over his entire leg. Relax a little bit. Okay. Just chill out. This is a magic spray. <laughs> It, it didn't really calm down at all. Zach arrived from the UK just four hours ago. Got attacked by probably one of the worst things that can happen to you at the beach. So, you know, I think for the for the poor poor thing, it was just this horribly overwhelming scenario. <laughs> That poor father was watching his son scream for help and he couldn't do anything and and we really felt for him. Applying hot water is impractical in the tower. It was a really difficult moment to not be able to take a child out of out of its pain and settle it down. That was just becoming extremely hard to watch. Team leader Harry's decides to take Zach to the showers and neutralise the pain with hot water. I'm a bit rattled. So we get him across the road to some hot water, which we think, you know, is a good chance of doing some good. And uh, now we hit another speed bump. Zach refuses treatment. And can you blame him? He just come out of the water and had a really bad experience. He's not so fond of going near water again. It's going to be okay. Feel better. I promise you. Put some water on it. Yeah. That's it. It's going to be okay. Just want to put a bit of water. Good boy. No. It's all right. No. Come on, come out. No. No, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Good boy. Oh, it's okay. Then things get even more complicated. All of a sudden, I turn around and Dad's feeling faint. Good idea to get the ambo. Have a look at him. Um, Dad's not feeling very well now. Can this situation get any worse? Yeah, we're just worried about Dad now. His glands have come up in his groin, which is a, not a nice feeling either. So, uh, you know, I think Dad's doing pretty well to hold up and be pretty stoic, despite the odds. I've got a son around the same age as Zach, so I can imagine exactly how the father feels. I thought he's going to go into a seizure. Mate, um, what do you think about using a epoxy? We're still not interested. 100% singers. Yeah. The green whistle is an analgesic gas that provides powerful pain relief. Harry's also decides it's time for backup. Ambulance, thank you. He might be in that one percentile where he's actually allergic to blue bottles. Yeah. 
Zach's father is back on his feet as lifeguards administer the green whistle. So what you've got to do is you've got to put it in your mouth like this, all right, and just breathe it in. Breathe it in. And it's going to take the pain away for you. Breathe. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Nice deep breath. Good boy. I know. No, I know. Look how brave you've been. There you go. Oh, wow. Good man. That's progress. See, we're getting yeah, a lot better, go. aren't we? Yeah. How good silence. Huh? The sweet sound of silence. Golden. Ten minutes ago, wasn't the case. Yeah. Never seen a kid like that before. He's like almost possessed. And now he's he's in the shower, cruising. Paramedics arrive to find a much calmer patient. Zach is given a clean bill of health. Hey Zach, that was your first trip to Australia, mate. Yeah, love, love this place. What do you think of Bondi? <laughs> oh, thumbs down. Hey, what do you think of these guys? Oh, yeah! <laughs> the situation started to come back into a, a, a normality sort of scenario, and gee, that was a big relief. Well, I think it was shock. I think it was just shock. He didn't know what to do, and he's hurting. Perfect. All right, see you later, guys. How are you? So I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to go swimming in the swimming pool. <laughs> Instead of the sea. As the blue bottles retreat, Bondi returns to normal. Singlets and Harrys conduct a final patrol before closing the beach. Just come back into shore. Then... A child comes running up, and on a closer look, it's my 14-year-old son. No, I banged his head. Some guy standing. I can't breathe. Oh, really? Yeah. I was absolutely racked with fear. Hearing that your son's not breathing well, I knew I had to support Singlets and get him up to his son quite quickly. There is the blue shirt just here. At this point, I have no idea what's wrong with him. Lifeguards take potential spinal injuries very seriously. When he took a deep breath in, he did have pain in the midsection of his spine, that thoracic region. OK, don't try and be a hero. Like, it's OK if you're in a lot of pain, like, um, you know what I mean? I just want you to be honest, because yeah. then we can work out how to treat it better, you know, like... After a head-to-toe assessment of Noah for a spinal injury, he didn't have any loss of feeling or sensation. So I thought it was OK to transport him up on the buggy up to the lifeguard tower. It's more mu probably muscular. Yeah, right. Yeah, slowly, 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 slowly. I'm panicked, I'm worried, I'm nervous. There's so many emotions going on here right now. I definitely looked back and, and thought, oh, could I have handled that a little bit better? And, and should I have, you know, got the spinal board involved and, and should I have done more? Uh, that's why I was so thankful that Harry's was there. Uh, I'm starting to worry right now about long-term damage. No, yeah. my name's Rob. Right, can I have a feel of your head and your neck? Is that OK? You don't have to move. You stay right there, mate. You stay right there. He did the same thing to the call taker as well. Any pain there when you're doing that? A couple of the questions and then got frustrated. Right, grab my fingers again. All right, now push towards me. All right, any pain there? Yeah, what about when you pull to you? Yeah, okay. Is it in this region here? Yeah. OK. And when you take a deep breath, it hurts? Paramedics decide no one needs more tests. It was a great relief that, you know, Noah was going to be in expert hands and the fact that they didn't put him on a spinal board and, and, and do all of that was also a little bit of a relief to me because I thought that, you know, we, we'd done the right thing as well. It was consistent with our treatment. You want to jump in there, mate? Yes, thanks. Yeah, I'm stressed at the moment. Yeah. Wheeling him out of the tower on a stretcher and, and getting into the ambulance was... Um, really, really tough situation for any parent. He's OK, he's quiet and he's, um, he's a little bit ginger, but, yeah, he's, he's doing well considering what he's been through. He has uh, paraspinal bruising and a mild concussion. What are you doing? Uh, I should play with my phone. Do you want any more Panadol or are you, you OK I'm for good. now? I'm OK. Um, have you got headache at all or are you just...? No, I'm good. Just taking it really easy. No beach today, no waves, no body surfing. <laughs> Probably out of 10, you know how this morning it was a bit sore, is it? Probably like two. Two. I'd have to sum up the whole experience as being the most incredibly surreal 
thing that's probably happened to me in my life. And the feelings of being overwhelmed, I'll never forget. Rest up, all right? Okay, see you too, Ren. See you. <laughs>